I'm here at the 104th Farm Show with Secretary of Reading, Secretary of Ag. It's great to see you. Thank Happy you. New Year. Thank Welcome. You. And I, every year you have a theme, and this year it's, what is the theme this year? Yeah, it's Imagine the Opportunities. So tell me about that, because last week on television, different times I heard little blurbs kind of almost requesting or asking or pointing out that maybe young people could come to the farm show and learn about opportunities for them in the future. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's one of, one of the key sort of opportunities I think we have uh, at the farm show to sort of reveal what is this industry about, right? We, I, I think most of society has this sort of uh, stereotypic image of the farmer, right? Or even of the industry, and it, it isn't that. I mean, farming is important and it's a critical piece, but there's all these other things. I was gonna say it's changing drastically it's changing too. Changing rapidly, you know, as we speak, the technology pieces and, you know, it's a lot of factors involved, but we really think that the farm show is sort of eight days to sort of reveal the wonder of this industry and all of its aspects, and hopefully that spawns some people to think about a career in it or for parents to think about the children or grandchildren. So anyway, it's, it's an important moment to teach. I just wonder if there's like any records, have, if kids that did come here, you know, if they went into ag or whatever, I guess. <laughs> we, I, well, I'll tell you, I don't, I don't know by, by, you know, numbers, but there are folks who we meet through the course of the week who were here, who are now working in food and agriculture that maybe they didn't originally think that was going to be the career, and maybe it was almost uh, you know by chance, but they're there, right? And they share that from truck drivers to mechanics to uh, supply chain uh, technicians. Well, you know, the dairy farmers were having a problem a couple years ago. How yeah. is has that improved? It's improved. I mean, we, we are in 2020 uh, and, you know, considerable difference in improvement from a year ago, two years ago. We went through this very painful period, as you know, for two and a half years where there were a lot of farms that didn't have a, they didn't have a margin, right? They had nothing left. So asking them to invest, to be more competitive, whatever, it, it couldn't do it. We're now at a point where at least we're into a decent price. It'll take a while to pay off what they didn't earn, right? Or they, or they replace the equity that they lost. But we're in a better place. The challenge remains getting consumers to think about dairy, consume dairy products, and particularly Pennsylvania product, Pennsylvania preferred product. Now what about hemp? Has, are the dairy farmers, have they switched to hemp? Or is, like I have one farm that I know of in my district that's pretty big in hemp, and then I have a farmer down the road that's kind of watching and learning from this guy and he wants to make sure he knows what he's doing before he attempts it but that is becoming big in Pennsylvania isn't it oh yeah I, I think the you know we just released this week the uh, guidelines for the 2020 uh, uh, hemp growing period last year we had 342 uh, permits we had 4,000 acres you can go to the food court and drink some hemp tea if you like you can get some kitty litter made out of uh, hemp. You can go down here and look at the car and the building materials. It's here, and our, our challenge now is sort of build these markets that go with the products. But there are many, many opportunities around hemp. See, that's when I started here. There's auto parts made out of hemp, and yeah. I, I haven't seen it here, but I maybe I better go down and check it out. But Take uh, a look at the car that's down here, the BMW. The side panel's inside, the dashboard is all hemp, the seats are hemp, uh, the fabric in the back, the trunk area is hemp. Uh, there's even some hard parts that are made out of uh, hemp, so uh, car manufacturers are doing it. The challenge we have is it's not from Pennsylvania, it's coming from China and Canada, right? So the, could, because we were out of the business for 77 years. So then we have to work on that and get it. work to get it back, right. So now this is also, I would think, like educational opportunities for, do we have the schools in Pennsylvania that can teach our students how to to do, you know, work with this hemp and make these products? In fact, uh, Del Valle University, uh, where I was dean uh, for a few years in, in Bucks County, uh, actually was one of the research uh, sites. So they're teaching their kids, they're trying to learn different varieties and growing techniques. Penn State University's done a lot of work on the economics and some of the plants and the disease concerns of hemp. But uh, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's this sort of uh, resurgence in people who want to grow hemp 
but it's brought folks as first generation farmers into the business of agriculture. Well, that's good. Anything new to Pennsylvania is wonderful. It's a good thing. Do we have anything else new here at the farm show this year? Well, I think there's a lot of things that we're trying to, to highlight. You know, we've got the, the, the Pennsylvania Farm Bill that, uh, thank you for your support of that, by the way. It was a historic moment in Pennsylvania last year. Uh, and, but a lot of good things have come out of it that we can now talk about. We've, we've announced this week uh, the Ag and Youth Grants to help educate you know, a, a new generation. Uh, hopefully inspire kids to think about uh, food and ag as a career. We've got the business planning components of that. Uh, there's a lot of things that are in this complex that are related to the Farm Bill. Two, two sites you should look at. One, the Grange. I always like the Grange and their Heritage Quilt Trail. They've got 107 different quilt blocks that are painted that are here that tell a story of Pennsylvania. Uh, it's really a nice piece. And then go uh, take a look at the waterfowl exhibit. We put the ducks back in their natural habitat of water and let them sort of swim and all those kind of things. Every place you go, every aisle, every building, it's got great stuff. Everything's different. Yeah. And last year you had uh, wine tasting, this year you have beer tasting, yeah. so that's interesting to people. I know I was over at the wine stand the other day because our Armstrong Valley Winery won a Governor's Cup and they're thrilled, I'm thrilled, so I had to taste that wine. To take a look at it, you know, it's, it's a reflection. We try to reflect here in the farm show uh, some of the consumer tastes and preferences. So we've gone from wine to, you know, the craft uh, the beer to the hard ciders and, and all of that's inside the farm show. At the same time, the traditional pieces of our livestock industry, right? You can go to the show ring, and, but uh, it's, it's all inside a million square feet here. Well, that's great. I heard you have a key, like when you're thirsty, instead of drinking water, you go get an apple. I do. Uh, I, I've uh, added that to my list the last couple of years. I have found that if you drink fluids here, but in, if you're around the complex, there's, there's a fair amount of, there, there are temptations everywhere you look. But I like just a simple apple sometimes. Well, I heard you like the honey crisp, and I, they're I, oh, wonderful. I, I, I'm not going to hide <laughs> from it. Uh, the honey crisp is my, uh, my favorite. So we have a bag back here that I reach into about every two hours. So. Now the butter sculpture this year, it's a little bit different. I think yeah. it's different, but yeah. I, a couple people said I want to come to the farm show to see it, so at least it's getting people here, getting attraction. It's been fun. You know, we, we, we departed from, uh, you know, mo most of our traditional butter sculptures have, have tried to capture some iconic, you know, um, uh, individual or uh, 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 farm scene or our farm families or dairy products. We thought we'd do something around the sports and our mascots and the icons in our Pittsburgh and Philly regions particularly and capture those sports teams and, and the mascots. It's something different. We knew as soon as we did it, as soon as you claim a team and put it in butter, uh, that in a state where everybody loves their local teams, uh, some would love it, others would say, what are you talking about? So, but it was the idea was to sort of reflect our east and west teams. Right. Well, it's yeah. different and it's nice. And yeah. The farm show is wonderful. It's Always appreciate being here and talking to you and thank yeah. you for what you do. We Pleasure's mine. Thank Great you. Great working with you. Thank you. Thank Happy you. New Year. Thank